Hey guys, it's me Anaf and welcome to part 5 of the Learn Discord.py tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how cogs work in Discord.py. So, cogs are really useful while making a Discord bot since they basically allow you to split up your commands into different files uh, for better organization. For example, if you have fun commands and moderation commands, you can store them in two different files. You can store them in a fun cog and you can also store them in a moderation cog. So this will help you to organize your code better so it will be easier for you to work and you don't have to be in a messed up code base. So cogs are not necessary but they're highly recommended by all, almost all bot developers. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you guys how to load cogs and unload them. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own cogs. So to load your own cog, at first I'm going to be making a command that you can access from Discord to load a cog. So we're going to be using the knowledge we have uh, gathered from the last few videos. Uh, where I taught you how to make commands. So at bot.command and make sure you don't forget the parentheses, then async def load. And then we'll take ctx as the first parameter and then the extension. Now the extension will be the name of the extension. So what we're going to be doing over here is we're going to be loading that extension. So how do we do that? Well, it's in the documentation and I'm also going to be showing you how to do that here. So we're going to be doing bot.load extension and parentheses. So this is a method of the bot object and this allows you to load any extension you want which is accessible. So for now, let's make a folder called cogs and we're not going to be putting anything in the folder right now. So we're going to be loading. Uh, we're going to be making a lot of, uh, a few cog files. So let's make one test.py. So the name of our cog will be test. So uh, we're not going to be writing anything there now. I'm just showing you how to load the cog. So bot.load extension, make an f string, and then do cogs, uh, since it's the name of our folder, cogs dot, and then the name of the extension. In this case, I could do test, but we're going to be using extension since we can load an extension by using this command. So this is the extension, and then I want to send loaded extension extension okay so once it's lo it has loaded the extension it's going to be sending this, me this message that the bot has loaded the extension successfully now let's make the unload command and it's really similar to this one so similar that I'm just gonna copy it so unload oh not unload unload and then do unload over here and then do unload. This is basically how you load and unload the cog from a command. But right now, what I want to do is that every time, every time the bot starts, I want the bot to load all of the extensions by default. So for that, I'm going to be needing the OS module. So the OS module will uh, allow me to get the list of all of the cogs or all the files in the cogs folder. So at first I'm going to be importing OS. So import OS. Let's save it. Now I'm going to be making a loop, a for loop, where it will iterate over each file and check that if the file is a Python file, then it will load that file. Okay? So we're going to be for i. I'm just using i as the variable. You can do use whatever one. And let's not use i. Let's use file name. How about that? For file name, uh, I just use file name to make it easier for you. 
guys to understand so for file name in os dot list dir i'm going to be explaining to you guys uh, what list dir is so now the list dir uh, function allows me to get the list of all of the files in a directory or in a folder so right now i want to access the cogs folder so i'm going to do dot slash cogs so the dot slash cogs is telling me that the dot is telling me telling python to uh that look for the cogs folder from the folder i'm in like okay let me just rephrase that uh look in the folder wh uh, where i'm right now where i'm in like for example this folder and then look for the cogs folder in that folder so basically i'm telling python to look in the folder i'm in right now for the cogs folder so dot slash cogs now let's use a colon and now we're going to be checking if the file is a python file so all python files end with a dot py extension okay so we're going to be uh, using that to our advantage so if file name dot ends with so ends with the string method so ends with dot py so basically the name is telling you what this function does so if the file name let's say test.py so test.py is a file name so if test.py ends with dot py which it technically does then we are going to be loading the cog load extension f string cogs dot file name now you have to load it uh like if it's just loading from the file name then it's going to be loading it like cogs dot test dot pi okay it's going to be loading like that that but we don't want that we want it to only be load cogs dot test so how can we remove the dot pi from that file name well it's simple we can remove the last three uh, last three letters from that file name using this so colon minus three now if you want to know how this works you can basically search uh, string indices work in Python I think that's what it's called yeah you can search it on the internet but right now I'm not going to be explaining that now because this is not a Python tutorial so this is how uh, the function will work so it's not a function so basically it will check for all the files in the specified folder right now which is the cox folder and then it will check if the file name ends with dot pi because if we put something else it cannot load that so if the file name ends with dot pi then the bot will load cogs dot that file name and we're going we're just reducing the dot py uh, those three letters from the end of the file okay so i hope you understand how that this works now this is how we load the cog and if we try to run the bot it's going to be giving you an error that the cogs.test has no setup function and i'm going to be now showing you guys how to make a cog so in in the folder that you're making the cogs right now i'm using the cogs folder you can name it whatever you want now go to the your cog file for now it's test.py okay guys so now i'm going to be showing you how to make your own cog so at first we're going to be importing discord so this is what you do in every typical discord.py file and now we're going to be doing import uh sorry from discord.ext import commands okay so to make a cog we need to make a class for that cog so if you don't know what a class is you can just search object oriented programming in python and watch a tutorial on that so classes are a very important part of object oriented programming but i'm not going to be explaining that so i'm assuming that you know how object oriented programming works in python so yeah let's get started so i'm going to be making a class called test and it's going to be inheriting from commands.cog it's a capital c so 
the test class will be inheriting from the commands.cog file. Uh, commands.cog. Okay, now colon. And now we're going to be making a constructor for this class, or you can say the initializer. So we're going to be doing def underscore underscore init. Make sure the function name is specific underscore underscore. Now the now put parentheses here and then make a uh, take parameter pra sorry, parameters. Now every time you make a method in a class, so methods are basically functions which are in a class. So we are going to be referring to them as methods. So every time you make a method, it's mandatory to uh, take a parameter called self, called self in every method. Even if you don't want the method to accept any parameters, if it's just a normal method, you still have to put self because that's how object reject programming in Python works. Now we're going to be writing self, comma, bot. So we're going to be taking the bot parameter, now colon. And now we're going to be assigning this bot variable to the self object. So self that bot equals to bot. So we're assigning the bot variable to the self object. So if we ever want to use the bot variable in a command in a cog, then instead of using bot dot load bot dot do whatever you want, we have to use self dot bot for that. Okay. So now you can do a lot of things in the constructor, but we're just going to be keeping it to that. Now let's make a setup function because since we got the setup function error, we have to make one. So it's mandatory to make a setup function for each cog. So we're going to be doing def setup. And this is going to be taking the bot parameter. Now we're going to be doing bot dot add cog and we're going to be making and taking an instance of that test uh, class. So now we're going to be doing bot. So now let's see if the code runs. And if it does, yeah, so it's running. Now I'm going to be removing the on ready method from here and I'm going to be showing you how to implement a an event inside a cog because making events inside a cog is a bit different. So over here we are not going to be using at bot event. We're going to be using at commands dot cog dot listener and make sure to put parentheses after that and the cog should be starting with capital G a capital C. So at commands dot cog dot listener. So instead of bot dot event, it's going to be at commands dot cog dot listener. And then we're going to be doing async def on ready. Okay, on ready. It it's mandatory to take the self parameter, even though the on ready uh, fun, uh the on ready event doesn't take a parameter. If you're doing it inside a class, you have to put the self as the first parameter. Now on ready self and we are going to be oh okay so let's just copy this okay so now delete it and now I'm going to be doing print ready username and see this is highlighting that bot's not defined so instead of using bot dot user we have to use self dot bot dot user since we're assigning the bot variable that's taken in the constructor to the self dot bot variable. So now let's try to run the bot. And even though we don't have an on ready event over here, it's still going to show that ready username is self.bot.user since it's in a cog and the cog has been loaded before the bots run. Okay. So python bot.py. And let's see if the on ready event is shown. As you can see, the on ready event is shown over here. So now let me show you guys how commands work in cogs. So we have we have to do add commands commands.command. Instead of doing add bot.command, 
we have to do at command start command if it's in a cog. But if it's not in a cog, then you have to do at bot dot command and make sure there are parentheses after that. Now do async def. Let's make a ping command since it doesn't have any commands over here. Instead, the load and unload command. Now ping command and it will take the self as a parameter since I've already told you two times that in every method of a class, you have to take self as your first parameter or argument, whatever you want to call it. Even though if it has multiple parameters or if it doesn't accept any, you have to put the self parameter. Now def ping and I want it to just return pong. I'm not going to be uh, making a functional ping command so it's it's going it's not going to be print like sending you the latency it's just for testing so i'm going to be just sending the pong message so await oh sorry also the ping method since it's a command it will take the ctx uh parameter since all commands take the ctx parameter as the first one in a cog it's also necessary to be taken now we have to put self first then ctx now ctx dot send and do pong. How about that? Now once we've done that, let's run the bot and let's wait for it to run. Okay, so the bot's ready and now do ping. As you can see, it has replied with pong. So that's how cogs work in discord.py. And also, I'm going to be leaving a link to the documentation and also the GitHub repository for the code from the videos in the description below so you guys can check it out. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'm going to be seeing you guys next time. So, peace out.